Hey, this is Mike McCready, co-founder and CEO of Music X-Ray, and your host on this episode 40 of the Hook Blast podcast. You know, or, or just Mike is fine. This is the weekly 10-minute podcast where we discover a few new catchy songs that might get stuck in your head until our next episode. But don't worry, you'll thank me for it later. You can add the ones you love to your own streaming playlists or just subscribe to mine. That's okay, I, I, I really don't judge. You rock out all week, and the next week, we repeat. Maybe you rock out in the shower or on your work, which for many of us these days is from the bedroom to the living room. But if you're rocking out hard enough, you can make that commute last the 10 minutes or so we've got here. Maybe take the scenic route through the kitchen. Okay, let's get after what you came for, today's hooks. As with last week's episode, this week we start with a song that's been written since global quarantine started. The artist Air Apparent wrote this song about dancing your fears away, a thing I used to practice until I realized I was also dancing my partners away. But that's off topic. Anyway, he says that dancing alone or with his girlfriend in his bedroom has been a therapeutic escape from quarantine. And I think that's a great alternative to crying. This is dance. That was Air Apparent with Dance. And that'll sound good on your playlist alongside Zane and Chainsmokers. I could hear it on a beach. I miss beaches. I'm dating myself here, but I'm old enough to remember when people used to, you know, go places. Next up, we've got a heart-wrenching song of lost love and despair from Richard Alex called Fall Out of Love. Been more than friends for so long. Is it too late to go back? You say you need to move on, but don't wanna lose all we had. And I know I should let you go, but my fears got a hold on me. And I'm finding it hard to breathe. What have we done? What have we done? And now I'm screaming your name from under the I'm wishing you could hear me now I know I cannot escape, my heart's gonna break But I'm holding on for dear life How did we fall out of love? 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 love? Heart-wrenching, isn't it? But we're all adults here, right? So let's take a deep breath and try to regroup. Okay, ready? This is Tom Hall with his Drive Along the Beach with the Top Down song, which is a short and catchy song description to itself. Okay, not really. This is She Don't Need No Hollywood. Tom said he wrote this song after realizing he hadn't been paying any attention at all to the movie because he was so focused on the fact that the leading lady in his life was sitting right beside him. 
I'm with you, Tom. I've always said I wouldn't be half as creative if it weren't for my ADHD. So far, so good, feeling better than I should. Got you, my best friend, holding... Okay, Hook Blasters, this next one is by writer Bev Niven and performed by Mary Beth Sutta. It's Please Hold On, and it's a song about friendship. I love it because it's both melancholy and feel good at the same time. Kind of the same way I feel after eating junk food. Only maybe without the ensuing self-loathing. When I put this on in my headphones and sink into it, I find my emotions tugged in seemingly opposite directions in a strangely satisfying way. That's Mary Beth Setup masterfully channeling Bev Niven. It's a nice folk song, and I'm sure the lyrics resonate for all of us. If I could go live on the moon right now, uh, I'd be living on the moon. And if you're a fan of Maroon 5, and, and I know I am, this power ballad love song might resonate with you. This is Breathe For You by Waldo Grief. I could sing falsetto like that. Falsetto comes from the Latin for false voice, and its presence in pop music goes way back. You could go back as far as Sherry by Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons, or jump a couple decades forward to Oh Sherry by former Journey frontman Steve Perry. Passing through the Bee Gees, and present day we've got uh, falsetto that we're hearing from Justin Bieber, Bruno Mars, The Weeknd, and Sam Smith. Science suggests that we tune into falsetto voices because they ignite an emotional arousal in us. People shift into falsetto voices naturally when they scream in terror, or cry for help, or cry in sorrow, or, or step on a Lego. So of course we've evolved to perk our ears when we hear the urgent emotion it evokes. Next up on today's episode, number 40, is something a little different. It's like if alternative rock got into a love triangle with country and Americana, and they got it on in a recording studio. This is Tim Gibson with Hit the Open Road. Before sunrise and moonlight leaves, let's find the space that's lost between. And in this place where nothing sleeps, we wander free. Tonight I'll be the diving king, and you can be my shotgun. Many of us can relate to this song. Road trips uh, are a great way to escape, and we need escapism now in some way or another. Whether it's music or inviting the pizza delivery guy inside, you know, for a game of chess. 
All right, that's all the time we have for this week's episode of the Hook Blast podcast. So stay safe, wear a mask, and join us next week for another Hook Blast podcast episode. Oh, and if you have a minute there, consider sharing this episode with someone you love that could use some great music in their lives. And, you know, you can always show us some love by rating and reviewing our podcast in your podcast app. If you don't like what you've heard on the show, you know, you can tell me through the contact info uh, link on the Hook Blast website at hookblast.com. If you love it, tell everyone. I'll catch you back here next week with a fresh batch of new hooks. Bye-bye.